Hello and welcome to part 3 of my Gwent Beginner's Guide. And today I'm just going to do a couple of practice games with these two characters behind me, the blacksmith and his assistant. And we'll just talk you through those games and see how we get on. So let's go and talk to Fergus first. Oi, Geralt! How's the armor performing? Here to order another? Oh, thank you, we want to play Gwent. Yearning to play a few rounds of Gwent. That ought to set me straight. And here we are. This is the Gwent homepage. And I've described this in more detail in the first two episodes of this guide. Um, on the left-hand side, we see all our discarded cards, the ones we aren't playing with. And on the right are the 33 cards in our deck. Now, I'm happy with that makeup, so I'm just going to press the triangle to start the game. Here we go. Now, the game automatically draws 10 cards from your, your pack to play with, but you get the chance to get rid of two and replace them. So it's a question of going through here and seeing which is going to be the least useful to me. Uh, it's not a bad hand, to be honest with you. But um, this number four here, Blue Stripes Commando, um, he's got a tight bonds symbol on him, but without another person with a similar bond he's no good to me um, he has to be another blue stripes commando so I'm gonna get rid of him that's good I got a hero card Tris Merigold with seven again Siegfried is a, a middle ranking card he's not bad but of the five cards here you see there's that one that one that one and that one all ranked at five I've got two type bonds here so they're very useful they'll double up this one's a spy card, he's got the eye on there, so I want him. Uh, this one is fairly vanilla, so I'm going to swap you out with something else, see what we get. And we got a commander sword out of that. Okay, well that was a low ranking card going into the range rank for Skoetel. Um, bop, 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 bop. I think I will... Play my two type bond cards here. So one goes out, giving me five. Okay, they counter with another five. That's an agile card they've just laid out. You can see it can be laid in either the close combat or the range row. And they've chosen close combat. Which is good for me because I've got a I've got a biting frost weather card down here, which Will obliterate anything? Well, not obliterate, but reduce the value of anything in the, in the close combat rounds. So I will continue with this card. Another tight bond into ranged. And because they're identical, they join together and double up. And my opponent has passed. And that is a fairly easy victory, to be honest with you. Um, they've got six points. I've got 20. I've won this round. All I have to do is pass to win it. I've won the round. Okay, because I won the round, my Northern Realm abilities give me another new card. And I think I just picked up a, a Cirilla card, a hero card of 15, which is very welcome. I'm going to come out and use my Spy card. So this will go to my opponent's side of the board, give them five points, but in return I will get two extra cards. So let's see what I get. Sometimes it's difficult to see what you did get then. I think I got a... Uh... Right, they just played a, a muster card. When you play a muster card, any other cards in your pack that have the same name are automatically drawn over. So she laid down a two and the game gave, game gave her a, a, another two to go with it. Right, so I haven't got any points at the moment. They've got nine, I've got zero, but that's not so bad. Like I said, this six down here, I think this is one of the, the cards I got as a result, result of the spy card. I might have got that as well, that, um, that eight siege, but I'm not sure. You know, let's play that. Um, I've won the first game. I just need to win this one to secure total victory, so there's no point in holding back on anything. Let's just play it all. Okay, 
another middling card laid by, laid by the opposition. Just a range four. Um, tell you what, let's get rid of this Biting Frost. Um, this will affect the close combat rank, and my opponent is the only person, well, is the only person on the board who's actually got any cards in that rank, so this will, this will knock down that five to a one. There we go. Okay, nothing going on there. That was another another muster card, but nothing was drawn out of the pack. Let's put this down in the siege rank. This is a six. My opponent comes out with another agile card, which they put in range. Okay. Now I've got a lot of hero cards here, and I'll use those in a minute. But first I'm going to apply this Commander's Horn. And uh, the only place this is going to work at the moment is down on the Siege rank. That's where I've got cards. Okay, they'll come back with another Agile 6. Um, yeah, th there was no point playing that, that Commander's Horn anywhere else since it won't work on these hero cards. So anyway, I'll put this one out. This will go into the close combat rank, um, but as a hero card, it's, it's invulnerable from effect, so it won't be affected by Biting Frost. Another Agile. But I mean, frankly, they don't stand a chance. I've got so many good cards here. There goes the, another 15. Another hero card. Uh, another middling ranged card. I oh, know Biting Frost card that was, wasn't it? Yes, in the close combat rank. So they've had to put it into um, close combat rank where it's affected by Biting Frost. It looks like they've got no choice but to do that. Um, let's go for another hero card. That's all they had. They had another Biting Frost card to play, and they have now run out of cards. Um, again, they've had to pass because they've got no cards left. They've got 29, I've got 68. So all I have to do to, to win is pass. And that's it. That should be a complete victory now. There we go. That was a fairly easy match. Anyway, let's go on and play out of the contestant and see if they do any better. Come oh, on, let me get close to you, it's Joanna. Geralt, good of you to come by. What can I do for you? Ooh, I want a game of, I don't want to play a game of Gwent, thank you. I'll do. Up for a few rounds of Gwent? Right, well we've been here before. Happy with all these cards, let's just start the game. Here's my redraws. Uh, what shall I get rid of? Uh, this is spy cards. Medic card, very useful. Let's me revive lost cards. Uh, don't want to lose my high ranking ones, so it's really a choice of this six, these two sixes, isn't it, really? So Death Mold, he gets going. Lovely, he gets replaced with Mysterious Elf Spy card. And here's a Trebuchet at six, and that goes. Uh, and I think that swapped out for a five, so I didn't do so well on that trade. Okay, they've laid a giant on, a uh, five giant on their siege rank. I will come in straight away with Mysterious Elf. Um, this is the best spy card there is, it's a hero card, so it can't be decoyed out by the opposition to use against me. And it's zero value, so it doesn't give them any points at all. But I still get the uh, the two extra cards that a spy card will give me. So I'll lay that out and see what I get. Okay, oh, got Biting Frost and something else, I can't tell what. Oh, they decoyed out their own card for some reason. That's interesting. Okay, 
All right, so I got another spy card in that last uh, deal. Let's play that one. I got a scorch. Oops, they decoyed out, decoyed out the spy card I just gave them. So they can use that against me. Let us... What we do? Right. Monsters quite often pack their close combat rank with a lot of cards. And I'll use Biting Frost against that. But at the same time, I don't want to put anything into the uh, close combat rank at all. So I'll just concentrate on my seed row here. And here comes my spy card, uses against me. Okay, don't do much about that. Let's try another entry to the seed row. Ah, they <laughs> put a mysterious elf as well. That's not good. They've now got more cards than I do, and they've only played three. That's not so. Impressive. Um, I'm still waiting for the the onslaught on the on the close combat rank. So let's avoid putting too many things in there. Let's go for ranged card. Put a five in there now. And they've passed suspiciously. Okay. Well, they've got a score of zero. I've got twenty four. So all I have to do to win uh, overall is pass. There we go. Let's go on to the second round. Okay, I got an additional card thanks to my Northern Realms ability because I won that last round. Uh, they've only got a, a one card advantage over me now. They've got 11, I've got 10. Um, again, I just need to win this game. I don't need to hold back any cards for a third round. So let's just start chunking out these hero cards. Same. Let's put one of my hero tens out. Okay, they put a six into their siege row. Let's put another hero ten into close combat. Got a hero themselves in close combat. Okay. Well, I can counter that. Uh, we're pr pretty much neck and neck as far as scores go at the moment. They're winning on 31. I'm just behind with 30. Let's put another hero 10 out. Close combat. A lot of hero cards in their deck, which is good as mine. Right. I will put out this hero card in close combat number seven. Okay, this is what I was waiting for. The muster cards, yeah, a lot of them come out now. Right. Okay, I will play Biting Frost now. And this should zap everything in the close combat round. Of course this won't affect any hero cards but it will knock down those um, three fours to three ones. Good. Ice Giant. Okay. Okay they're managing just to keep ahead of me aren't they? What I will do, I'll play this five, get it out of the way. And then the next time I think I'll play a Scorch card, try and knock out. Okay, another four's come out. Ooh. But they're all in Biting Frost. So that has knocked them back quite considerably. Biting Frost card is really, really useful to use against monsters. Um, I'm going to play the Scorch card now. The highest card um, on the battlefield is that six in their Siege rank. So that'll kill that. 
go. Oh, they're doing pretty well. They just put out a medic card. And they've just revived at six. Irritating. Okay, I've got two medic cards here. Let's see what I can do with those. Right, here goes the hero medic. Right, um, yeah, there's really no option but to go for the most valuable one, which is this one. Thank you. Ah, clear weather. Damn. Okay, I'm I'm in trouble now. I think I've lost this game. Damn. Okay, let's see what I can do with this. Not a lot. Oh, I've got a spy. This might be a way out. Let's see if I can uh, do something with that spy card. Ah, uh, okay, no. If it was another biting frost, it might have done me some good. <laughs> and they've just used their leader ability to put a, um, a commander's horn on that close combat row, and I'm so dead here. Okay, this is quite unfortunate. Okay, well, let's play my Hero 15, but... Nah, I'm dead in the water. Okay, they've passed. I won the first round, didn't I? Hmm... I'm gonna pass. If I pass... well, they've won this anyway, haven't they? If I pass... We'll go to a third round. Oh, I should have played that five instead of... I think I'm going to win, though. It's my turn. I've got a five. I won the round. I don't believe it. Well, there we go. That went to three rounds. I won the first round. They won, they won the second round convincingly. Um... And I won, won the third, so well, I'm quite pleased with that. I thought I was dead in the water. Anyway, let's close that down and find someone else to play. You can try to win them all.